Hello, Forever Family. Until then, keep focus on what matters most to you. Well, hi everybody, this is Aiden O'Hare with another very special edition of Forever Matters. As you can see, well, you can't see it, but I can, because right there is the Caribbean Sea. Behind us, we're about to kick off the Mexican Fiesta to finish off the Eagle Managers Retreat 2022 here in Cancun, Mexico. It's a beautiful evening, fantastic ambiance, the wind is blowing, and this is gonna be really surprising, but look, <laughs> I'm not alone because I can't see a thing because she is shining her phone on me. I'm gonna try and make this look professional today on Forever Matters. Well, before we get started on this, I'd like to sort of make a kind of an invitation um, because we'll be in Pattaya here pretty quick. I know it's 12 months from now, but you know how fast that goes is 12 months. I'd really like you to sit down and think about where am I with my business and can I qualify as an Eagle Manager? Because to be honest with you, I've been to a lot of events. For 25 years I've done this, but the Eagle Manager Retreat is the best. It is fantastic, you get to be with people that don't necessarily get to experience this kind of luxury, this kind of spoiling. And you know, it's just brilliant to be here. So please, please, please sit down, have a look at your business, talk to your upline, downline, crossline, whoever it might be, and ask them, hey, how can I become an Eagle Manager? This is kind of wild. Here we are in Cancun. We're gonna shoot across the world to Romania. And in Romania, they've had a couple of fantastic events kicked off, the first in-person events that we're starting to see over there. In fact, it's over three years since they had an in-person event. The first one was their annual manager's retreat in Brasov. I've been to Brasov, it's a beautiful city, high up in the mountains of, of Romania, and there they had 200 managers attending their first event there. Now, 80% of those 200 were brand new managers that actually broke during the three years that they weren't together. So they had the opportunity to sit down together, learn from each other, and really learn a little bit more about what it's been like uh, to be part of forever. Now, right after that, they had a success day in Brasov where over 1,300 FBOs joined for the very first time. What an amazing turnout, fantastic. I wish I was there. From Romania, we're gonna go all the way to Japan because we had a rank up seminar in Japan. And that's a rank up is what they call what move up. So all the people that have moved up in the last couple of months get together to celebrate their success. And their presence club get, and they had a very, very special guest, number two FBO in the world, Hanami Tagagi showed up. And I gotta tell you, she did a fantastic job training today here at our Eagle Managers Retreat. 37 FBOs received part of this special training about ranking up, we're moving up the marketing plan in Japan, and that was wonderful to, to hear about that. Another huge success day was in Delhi, India. They had over 6,000 FBOs turned up for their um, success day in Delhi. Man, can you imagine being in a 6,000 um, event? In fact, a few years ago, we were there and we had about 6,000 there as well. An amazing, amazing event, and so good to hear that India is doing so well. In fact, their sales are up 32%, so congratulations to Harish and all the fantastic FBOs over there in India. Now from India, let's go across the world to Hong Kong. You know, I had a wonderful opportunity to bump into, uh, I think it was nine Eagle managers from Hong Kong. First time we've seen them in three years, and it was a very emotional moment, I can promise you, to find out that Hong Kong is now open, and those wonderful people can travel around the world again and get to connect. In Hong Kong, they had the first ever event um, for three years and a thousand FBOs get together, got together to celebrate together and to enjoy um, recognizing Chairman's Bonus Qualifiers, Eagle Managers Qualifiers, Global Rally Qualifiers, and just to have a really good party there in Hong Kong. Now, there's plenty of FBOs around the world that are also reaching great heights and moving up the marketing plan. We've seen uh, new Diamond Managers, new Diamond Sapphire Managers, and let me see if I can just get to that point now. We're gonna recognize some of these great people. Forgive me for the pronunciations. You know I'm working on this, but here we go. Congratulations to Sharuk Abula and Abdul Lafata Lebda. They're brand new Sapphire managers from UAE. Sharuk joined the business about seven years ago and has achieved every single incentive that's available in the marketing plan. Great job, keep working hard. And they promise that they're heading to the GLT, so that will be fantastic to see them there. Also in UAE, we've got a brand new Sapphire manager, Shaheem Omran Al Omran. They joined the business in 2019 and in 2020 achieved senior manager. Two years later, and they're already Sapphire manager. Can you believe that? 
Sheerham, you definitely know what it means to grow. Keep up the good work, and we're very excited for your success. And congratulations to our Diamond Sapphire manager from UAE, Beamish Abu Bakar. Beamish has only been in forever for five years and has already hit Diamond Sapphire manager. Some great things going on over there in UAE, so fantastic to see those great people moving up the marketing plan. Now, all the way from UAE, all the way down south to South Africa, Becky Mambaso and Mamadia Mabulia, uh, they've made Diamond Sapphire. Congratulations, wonderful job, Becky and Mamadia. Fantastic, wonderful team. And so wish we could be there to give you a hug and a kiss. Congratulations to you both. And so proud of all of our gem managers that were recognized today, but I'm also proud of their ability to focus on building their business in multiple aspects. These FBOs are not just moving up gems, but they're also qualifying Chairman's Bonus, Eagle Manager, Global Rally, and even Forever to Drive. This kind of growth is what's gonna power Forever onto the next level. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's have a drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. This is now, I wanna make sure I explain this right. Okay, this is the top open or personal and non-manager business for September. Personal, non-manager business for September. Here we go, the top 10. Number 10 is from Israel, Nachmana Maya, a really good friend of mine. Congratulations one more, one more time for being there. From India, Fatima Raya. Congratulations at number nine. Number eight, UAE, Mariola Haida. Great friend of mine. She's doing a wonderful job with her husband, Christian. So congratulations, you guys, being in the uh, top open for September. Number seven, Kazakhstan. Oh, this is a classic name. Natia Stanislavova Dimindova. I know I murdered that one. Please, please forgive me, Natalia. I wish I could do better with that name, but congratulations anyway at being number seven. Over to, to back over to UAE with Asma Nat Zaya. Asma Nat Zaya at number six. Number five, Mudad Akram from India. Number four, Binish Abu Bakar. Number three, um, in Italy, Maria Fabiola Castro. Number two, we just heard about her, Hanomi Tagagi. She's number two in top open business for September. And finally, number one, brand new, number one, Kuta Taijo from Morocco. Congratulations to Kauta. She's the number one open business for September 2022. Well done, fantastic, congratulations. And Kauta tells me that she is gonna be, uh, would have sponsored the most people in all of the forever world for 2022. Let's see how she does. And we'll sure let you know if that's the case as we get to the end of this year. Coming back here to Cancun, recently we just had the opportunity to partner with a charity called KKIS, which is Keep Kids in School. Through your generous donations, we were able to identify uh, an opportunity here to help local school children as they go back to school. By doing that, we raised enough money to pack 1,000 backpacks, which out of the school supplies, they had pens and papers and pads and booklets and scissors and everything they needed to uh, be successful on their first day back at school. So thank you to each one of you that not only donated generously, but donated your time here, and we were able to pack those 1,000 bags, which Garen handed to the schools today. So what a wonderful opportunity. The next person that touches that bag will be a kid on their first day at school. So how fantastic is that? In addition to that, uh, Rex Morn Forever Giving Foundation also donated a large sum of money to Hurricane Relief over there in Florida for those poor, poor, people that got hit massively when Hurricane Ian came through just recently. So thank you again for your, uh, your generous donations that enable the Rex Mourn Forever Giving Foundation to be able to be so generous in what they offer around the world. Wow, it's been quite the meeting so far. Absolutely wonderful to be with you. I hope you enjoyed spending just a few minutes with us to celebrate some of the successes around the world. We appreciate you so very much. And please, please, please have a look at what being an Eagle Manager is. And you know what? Don't forget to focus on what matters most to you.